Hey guys, it's Jess. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have another plan with me to share with you all and this week we are planning for the week of October 29th to November 4th. That's right. Right now, as you are watching this, well maybe you're watching this in the future, but when this video goes up, it is a solid six days into November and we are officially in the Thursday of 2018. Is that, is that the analogy? I think that's the analogy. It sounds kind of wrong though. But anyway, this week I am planning with the kit Halloween from Scribble Prince Co. Which is a beautiful, simplistic photo kit. And I love it so much. It's also the first photo kit that I have ever used in any of my planning. And I was really excited about it because, like I said, I really like the simple plistic sort of Halloween spoopy elements thrown in so I thought it was the perfect kit to use in the transition between October and November because the candy corn colors are kind of like fallish as well as Halloweenish. but I don't know I didn't do a lot for Halloween I went the weekend before so this weekend before the 29th I celebrated Halloween in Atlantic City so that was me kind of doing my Halloween and it could have pretty much just been November the next day but alas it was not and we still continue to celebrate one more spoopy week okay I don't know where I'm going with this so for this week I sort of gave myself a foily break except for a full box overlay that I put over the quote box just to spice it up a little bit um, and the date squares from Scribble Prince Co and the date headers that I used and then the Happy Halloween script from Rose Color Days that I used in the sidebar but other than that I skipped out on the foil this week I know shock gasp but I really wanted to kind of keep the like simplicity I need to stop saying that word um, of the kit and of the week so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and put down the bottom washi well I'm already already done did that um, full boxes the glitter headers the date covers and I will be back to do the sidebar also the page flags which are from Clever Gal Crafts and they are the lily sheet with the silver foil. I always forget to mention these things for some reason. <laughs> for the sidebar, like always, I am going to start with my habit trackers after the quote box and I'm using the two that come in this kit along with two of the mini icons, one of the face mask and one of the heart to mark washing my face and taking my vitamins. I feel like slowly I need to phase out taking the vitamins because that has just become a habit. Like I do it without even like thinking that I need to mark it in my planner and it needs to be replaced with working out, but we'll, we'll see how that goes. I'll keep you updated maybe in January, but you shouldn't wait till the new year to start working on you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Okay, so after the habit trackers, I grabbed this squared off fancy quarter box along with a Happy Halloween silver foiled sticker from Rose Color Days that I wanted to put in the box. There wasn't anything particular I wanted to mark, so I was like, let me just mark Halloween so that way I have room to mark some spoopy things on the actual day and then I used the witch scribbler that comes with the kit right next to it just for, for a little bit of a pizzazz, you know? So then after the half box, I went ahead and grabbed a thick piece of washi along with a to-do header and then placed that on top of the washi and then underneath that I used two of the um, what are they? ombre heart checklists and I kind of wanted them to be sort of like a candy corn. So you have the silver of the squared off box at the top, then you have the yellow, although I'm pretty sure candy corn goes orange and then yellow but you know whatever this is my own version of a candy corn so then I did the yellow ombre box and then the orange one underneath and then I just placed another thin piece of washi to cover up the excess heart sticking out and then cut off the extra bit of sticker and then went ahead and filled everything out the pen and all the tools I use in my plan with me along with any of these stickers I use will be linked down below so tools will be listed pen will be listed and the sticker shops I use stickers from will be listed down in the description box just in case I forget to mention it. But I'll, I feel like I never forget to mention a sticker. Like if I went past a sticker, I always somehow mention it and go, wait, let me tell you about the sticker in detail, even though you can see it because I'm just, I'm just thorough that way, you guys. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead, fill this out and be back to do Monday. Starting off on Monday, Monday I remember being a super rough day. I couldn't wake up in the morning. I snoozed my alarm about 
five times and my alarm goes off at eight and I have to leave my house at 1042 and I just slept I think until 930 which is very unlike me because I, at the very latest I always wake up at nine. Um, I was just really tired and like everyone around me in school was really tired so I feel like that wasn't helping. But I digress. The first thing I wanted to mark on Monday was, of course, publishing my plan with me with my handy dandy glitter film slate icon from Mandy Dreams. And then underneath that, I wrote, I'm so tired. And I used a yawning emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. to mark that because I felt like that was necessary. Like I was that tired, you guys. And then I went to get coffee twice that day. So I had coffee in the morning. I stopped by Au bon Pan to get another medium cup of coffee. And then before my last class at 6 p.m., I got a, another cup of coffee. Like it was that bad, you guys. So I used the little coffee cup sticker that comes with the kit to mark that I basically needed a caffeine IV. And then when I got home, I was just bouncing off the walls, but like in a tired stupor, which is, you know, fantastic. So after that I wanted to mark that during my classes I was so tired that I worked on mood boards um, instead of actually paying attention which you know is great because I have a test coming up and do I know anything about muscles? No. So I used a paper and milk Morrow on its laptop sticker to just generally mark that little chunk of time I spent working on mood boards in my notebook. Usually I work on the notes kind of app on my computer but no I was like Let's, I'm that tired that I'm gonna write everything out. Then after that I wanted to mark going to Aubon Pan because I did the one time between two of my classes go there to have dinner. So I used one of the little sort of um, little thing sized boxes but it had the planner on it I think. I just liked the way it was like boxed off and bordered. So I used that box and then I grabbed a mini meal icon to mark that. Then underneath that I needed to mark that I had my third sociology quiz. So I used a fancy pattern label along with this icon of a stack of books to mark that. Then on my way home, I was reading the book Wild Like Me, which was written by a very popular YouTuber, Louise Pentland, uh, sprinkle, uh, sprinkle of Glitter. I really love her so much, but my God, is this book just like, I really didn't like it. And I'm all for chiclet and like sappy romance novels, but it was just so boring. Like it was like the, like in the book, she was describing everybody's outfits every single chapter in excruciating detail. And I was like, I don't have like the brain storage to remember and like try to think up what these people are wearing every single time. Because I thought, at first I thought there was some significance to it, but no, she was just like, oh, oh, hashtag OOTDing in the book. And I'm like, I really, I don't like it. But I kept reading on anyway, because I was trying to give it the benefit of the doubt. Spoiler, I skimmed through to the end and I was like, wow, I didn't miss anything. Like, I didn't finish the book, you guys. I couldn't do it. So after I got home, I finally arrived to my Gobstone Alley box, my flying parcel, which I did an unboxing on. So if you guys want to see that, the video will be up, is already up on my channel. And to mark that, I used a whimsical cat studio girl um, with like her Hogwarts robes and Hedwig and the owl. I thought it was most fitting to mark it that way. And the the was it the Gryffindor robes were the ones that matched most. I had one more Hufflepuff girl, um, but I didn't want to waste her for this kit, even though she would have been the most perfect for this um for this occasion for this week for this spread. Moving on to Tuesday after the disastrous tired day I had on Monday, I let myself sleep in, which is probably not a great idea because I remember how I was talking about I was trying to fix my sleep schedule and I finally did that. Well, I think I may have ruined it with this day, but not as bad as 4 a.m. More like 1 or 2, which is not so bad for me. So I used a foxing cactus girl with her little um, black and white polka dot pajamas to mark that. I love how perfectly like those PJs fit the spread. It made me so happy when the sticker is perfect. Then after that, I wanted wanted to mark that I spent some time getting ready to film my Gobstone Alley unboxing. So I used an emoji, like I'm um, an emoji putting on some makeup for that. Then underneath that I used a, um, what is it, another a patterned, a fancy pattern label, what is wrong with me? And a sort of YouTube icon, yeah, I mean it's a YouTube icon icon um, to mark that I filmed the, um, 
filmed a magical video. I filmed the unboxing and then as soon as I was done with that, I went ahead and started editing that. So I used a Once More With Love editing munchkin to mark that. I feel like I've said to mark that so many times, but I don't know what else to say in place of that. So I will look it up. I will try to figure out different ways to say that, but for now, it's to mark that. <laughs> After finishing editing my magical video, I watched the um, A Very Wicked, what is it? A Very Wicked Halloween special, which was basically the 15th anniversary of the Broadway musical Wicked. That was not it, but you know what I'm talking about. So I used these munchkins of Glinda and Elphaba, which I think Mar gave to Andrea, and Andrea printed on the sticker sheet and made a whole just sticker sheet of those because me and Andrea are Glinda and Elphaba. Dare you to guess who's who. If you're wrong, I will be shooketh. Um, <laughs> but I watched, I used those two to mark the Very Wicked Halloween, and while I was watching that, I was also filming this plan with me, so I used a another munchkin on the laptop for that. Then, before bed, I worked on the mood boards some more, so I used a thin piece of washi and then a laptop sticker from Happy Daya to mark that and then the last thing I marked for the day was that I read Wild Like Me some more so I used a Amaro reading a book with a cup of tea. I can't remember if I had a cup of tea. Probably not but this one was so stinking cute and took up a lot of space so I used it for that. Wednesday was Halloween and I totally did not feel like Halloween at all. I mean, I don't remember the last time it's actually felt like Halloween. When I went to Atlantic City, that's when it felt like Halloween. But I digress. So on Wednesday, the first thing I wanted to mark was that I read more of Wild Like Me. In the span of Monday to Wednesday, I think I read about like 100 pages when normally um, on days that I go to school, I can easily read 100 pages on my commute there and back. So that's how great this book was, you guys. So I used a, did I, oh, I thought I used that same sticker somewhere else. Huh, never mind. I don't know why when I was planning, I was like, oh my god, I'm using the exact same sticker again. But, but yeah, I used a reading emoji for that. Then I wanted to make sure that I replied to all of my lovely YouTube comments. So I used the munchkin that comes on the mini freebie in this kit on its laptop to mark that. I really don't know why today of all days to mark that sounds like I'm just being super repetitive and I brought all of your attention to it which was probably a really dumb thing to do so I apologize. So after the replying to YouTube comments I wanted to write in <laughs> I wanted to write in that I needed to pay my deposit for my birthright trip which I also need to fill out the secondary application which I need to remind myself and put that in my planner because I will absolutely forget. So I used that sort of northern star icon that comes in the kit for that and then I needed well what did I need to do? Oh okay change of plans also this day I came home and I was like I really really want pizza and a really funny story we didn't have candy I know it's awful we didn't have candy so we turned all the lights off in our house but trick-or-treaters still came by and I felt really really bad because we didn't have any candy to give them but then what do we do we go ahead and order a pizza and we have it delivered and what does the pizza delivery ha guy have to do he has to ring your doorbell <laughs> So we had to like stake out to see if it was trick-or-treaters or a pizza guy and when the pizza guy finally came They left me in charge to collect the pizza and I was so ashamed that I was like Are you guys sure it's the pizza man? So when I opened the door the pizza guy like was not there and I'm like, oh my god, what is happening? But like he went to a different door or something strange like that. I don't know. We ended up getting our pizza and I locked the door and I was like, I'm so sorry, children. Next year, I'm going to make sure to have candy and I'm going to dress up because I feel like that's a lot of fun. Like it's going to be fun for me and for them if I dress up to hand out candy. 
So yeah, that's my plan for next year. So anyway, we ordered a pizza, so I used a Coffee Monsters Co. emoji up there. Then on the bottom of Wednesday, I wanted to mark my spoopy movie, my spoopy movie marathon. Slow the heck down, Jessica. So I used a Clever Gal Crafts post-it sort of, you know, sticker to mark that. These are so pretty, and I, I used more of them throughout the week because I was just kind of like obsessed with the way these smaller ones look. I never liked them originally, but then for some reason, like that whole thing just changed. I love how it looks. So I used that sticker along with the Hocus Pocus Sanderson sister scribblers for that I watched Coco I watched Hocus Pocus and it was really nice because I got to watch it with my sister and my mom they came down to my room and we just watched it together which was lovely um and then I watched um the book of life which is like absolutely my favorite I love day of the dead animated movie so much I don't know why but then after that I had a little pamper night I had a like I did a hair mask and a face mask so I used a fox and cactus sticker of the little character washing its hair and then after that I just wrote eat all the candy which I think is a lie because I ate like a few bits of candy but not like all the candy I think I just didn't have anything else to put down there like nothing at all and I was like I'm not putting in read wild like me twice in one day mm -mm. I only save that for Harry Potter so I just put in eat all the candy and I used an emoji that's just covered in candy yeah Thursday was the day I convinced myself to just take the whole week off after a week and a half of like studying for all the things. Um, so I just kind of like chilled out and got some things done. So the first thing I did was publish my Gobstone Alley unboxing, which I completely forgot about. And then like comments were coming in and I was like, yo, like people are like are really digging my plan with me from Monday. And then I'm like, oh wait, I put up a new video. <laughs> so I marked that using a, another black glitter film slate sticker from Mandy Dreams. Then underneath that, I put morning coffee from Paper and Milk. Love her handwriting so much. So I stuck that in there because I had a few cups of coffee, which is nothing new for the day, but you know, you gotta fill in space how you can. Then after that, I wanted to mark that I spend, like for some reason, I decided to just pre-plan all of my 2018 full boxes. So like where all the full boxes would go for the rest of the year. I sort of have like a method to my madness at this point. So I was just figuring out like exactly like which boxes would go where and I'm pretty much pre-planned full box wise until 2019 which is great I could actually go into my 2019 planner and start doing that because the layout is exactly the same but I was like no 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 chill out so I used a glittery um bow paper clip to mark that I thought it was the most plannerific sticker in this kit and then I used an emoji on its laptop watching YouTube videos to mark that while I was doing that I was also going through my watch later of YouTube because there was a hundred videos in there and I was like I need to get through these because I kept adding things like I wasn't actually watching anything and I just kept adding things to it and I'm like I need to get through these videos first then after that I wanted to work on some of the customs the custom activity scripts that are in my shop if there is, is like an activity you guys want in my handwriting that's not available in the activity sets the um, listing for it is available in my shop so you can go ahead and get that there it is a digital so just letting you know it's a digital but you can make it into a sticker yourself which is very exciting so I used a paper and milk apple iPad and pencil for that and then me and my mom planned more of our trip to London and now Paris oh my god I'm so excited I'm gonna be a world traveler next year like this year was Harry Potter next year leave the country every chance I can that's my goal which I'm so excited for because I've never I've like my dream has always been to go to London and Paris London and Paris interchangeably and I get to do it in one vacation I'm so excited so yeah to mark that I used a fancy label fancy pattern label along with this fangirling um munchkin from the freebie I was gonna use like a London sticker but I don't know I just felt more right to use the fangirling with the hearts and like super excited one for that and then I needed to I didn't need to I just randomly decided to wash my blankets so I used a laundry emoji for that and then what did I oh yeah and then I spent all night watching ordeal by innocence which is like an Amazon Prime video little mini series which is great because it was only three episodes long and my lovely lovely future husband Anthony Boyles in there oh my god he was so beautiful and so amazing he ran naked through a scene you didn't see anything you saw his little booty but okay like besides like Anthony Boyle being in it it was pretty good I think as long as you weren't like if you hadn't read Ordeal by Innocence by Agatha Christie you really enjoyed it 
but I feel like everyone who had read Ordeal by Innocence did not enjoy the show but it was really cool and I'm very good with suspenseful it's kind of like murder mystery like who done it um I'm never good at guessing who done it so like these kinds of movies are really exciting for me and Anthony Boyle's in it and he's beautiful and I love him so much oh god like love him okay moving on <laughs> So on a Friday, Friday was a jam-packed day, so I got rid of the little glitter header there. The first thing I wanted to mark was that I had a manicure appointment and I got these sparkly gold nails. Like guys, I am obsessed with them. They are so stinking pretty and they're going to match like this spread and then the next spread and then like the next spread after that, which is great. That was very, that was very vague, wasn't it? So to mark my manicure, I used a, a solid fancy label along with the nail polish sticker, which so conveniently came with this kit to mark that and then very very exciting the cursed child soundtrack the like music of the play came out and i kid you not i've listened to it all 42 songs an hour and 18 minutes straight each time maybe like four times already and i just can't stop it is so freaking good i love Im i think what is her name imogen heap love her i like remember her from my high school days so when i was watching the play i'm like why does this seem so eerily familiar and I was like, oh my god, it's Imogene Heap. She did the whole bloody thing for this. And I'm like, ugh. And when I left Crush Child and found out there was no soundtrack, I was really upset because the music was stuck in my head, but I couldn't play it. So now I can. It's streaming on Apple Music 24-7 in my brain on my, like my iPod, <laughs> my iPhone. And I'm so excited for it. So I needed to mark it in a big way because it came out and then I was just listening to it all day I think on the first day I listened to it twice but I digress you guys don't really care but I feel like you kind of do so anyway I used another one of the clever gal crafts post-it note stickies to mark that and then I used this Hufflepuff I was gonna call her Hufflepuff Jess um this Hufflepuff girl from Fox and Cactus to mark that is so it came out so cute I love it so much and then after that i Spent the day running errands, returning things for my family members because they don't have time to do it, and you know me. I'm just home all the time, so I definitely have the time to do it, but no, I'm kidding. Um, I had to go to the mall anyway, so I went to Sephora. Sephora? I went to Sephora. I went, hello, Fora, how you doing? Anyway, I went to Sephora because they were having a another weekend of their sale, so I needed to pick up some stuff like the Clear Sonic um what is it head thing because mine was dirty um so I used a emoji holding some Sephora bags to mark that then I didn't intend to but I had my first Starbucks red cup of the season it was actually white with little like berries and stuff on it but it was still so cute and I had my first peppermint white mocha of the holiday season it was great. It was beautiful. So I used a um, emoji that's actually a winter emoji, but it's holding a red cup because I thought it was fitting for the occasion to mark that. And then your girl went to Bath and Body Works because they were finally having a candle sale. I don't know if I think I mentioned it in my last one. Probably not. But my sister and I went to the mall like a, like a week ago or something. And she takes me into Bath and Body Works. And I'm like, yes, let's do this. And I'm like, is there a sale on candles? And she goes, no. And I'm like, then what the heck are we doing in here? I'm not paying $25 for a candle when they used to be 20, first of all. And I was like, there's going to be a sale, so I'm going to wait. And finally, the sale happened. So I stocked up on some candles, some wallflowers, and this, like, wreath that, like, you put the candle in, which is so extra and unnecessary, but it's beautiful and silver and blue for my Hanukkah self. And I loved it, so I bought it. So to mark the Bath and Body Works thing, I used a candle from Fox and Cactus, but I, put, I picked up, like, holiday-scented ones, but I liked the pumpkin spice because it matched this kit the best. Then when I got home, I went to Applebee's with my mom because for some reason I really wanted to eat like the appetizer sampler combo thing, whatever they're calling it now. Um, so my mom took me, which was very nice of her, and I used a, another one of the patterned fancy labels along with the larger meal icon to mark that. And then I just got home and finished up some mood boards for Andrea, so I used a happy diet sticker of the girl working furiously on her laptop for that. Saturday was more of a chill day. When I woke up in the morning, I had breakfast, and then I just planned the next week, the things I needed to do, the people I needed to see, the tests I needed to study for. Um, so yeah, I used a black tea and sticker from the Coffee Monsters Co. 
for that. And then when I was done planning the next week, I just wanted to go ahead and fill in these days. So I marked filming um, my plan with me some more with this emoji cutting up some bits of film. Then while I was filming that, I was watching Modern Family and catching up on the new and last season, which by the way, like, I mean, I, everyone knows like someone dies. I'm not going to say who just in case you haven't watched it yet, but like I was like, they said someone big was gonna die and I was just like waiting for it and didn't like it didn't happen like it wasn't that big of a deal I don't know maybe they're gonna do something with it but I was just like you guys said like a main character was gonna die but I digress I hope that didn't spoil anything but oops um so to mark that I used the larger tv icon and then underneath that I needed to remind myself to take my lab quiz which Funny enough, I marked and then checked off because I was like, oh yeah, I'm definitely going to do that. I never took it, which was really bad. I mean, it's not that bad. He just kind of like posts, my professor, he posts the quizzes on online whenever he freaking wants to. And he's like, yeah, just take this. And it's like, wait, 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 what? Where do I fit this into my schedule? I'm actually going to check after um, posting and like exporting this video if I can still take it. It's Monday now and I'm pretty sure it was like due on Sunday he always posts online quizzes before we have exams so maybe he, maybe I can still take it maybe not I don't know so I used a lab emoji for that then I went to go see Bohemian Rhapsody with my mom which I am like such a huge queen fan so when I saw this movie was gonna come out I just like I wept at the trailer and then I've watched the trailer maybe I'm not even kidding maybe like 25 times since I think it might be more 25 sounds like a really low number for some reason but it was so good I loved it so much I loved hearing the music the actors looked like the actual members of Queen which was so bizarre and kind of like a mind-blowing thing but ugh, it was really really good I kind of want to see it again maybe my dad wants to go see it so I'm gonna try to see if he wants to go see it because I will definitely go see it again I've been watching interviews with the cast nonstop because I loved it so much um but yeah to mark that I used the movie marquee that comes with the kit and then a piece of pattern washi that kind of bugs me that it matches the full box on top a lot but kind of doesn't so we're leaving it then I used an emoji with some headphones on listening to music to mark that when I got home basically all I did was just like surf the internet does anyone ever say that anymore um, and I basically listened to the Cursed Child soundtrack and a lot of Queen music for like the rest of the night, which was glorious. And then I told myself to stop and like do some reading because I hadn't read Wild Like Me in a bit. Um, but this was the night I was like, I literally cannot finish this book. Like, I just can't do it. So I used instead of wasting a book character sticker, a reading character sticker, I used this emoji head that's just like, he looked fed up with the world and wrote, stop reading wild. Um, yeah, so that kind of sucks. That book was a gift. And I asked for it, so it kind of makes me upset. That doesn't make me really that upset. I just don't like not finishing books. I wonder what the psychology behind that is. But I just, like, don't like not finishing books. There was only one other book that I never finished, and it was called Girls in White Dresses. I, I really didn't like that book at all. Like, it was so boring. I don't like boring books, you know? I don't know anyone who does like boring books, but those those two books are like on my I never finished list. Even I feel like I've read some crappy books and seen them to the end, but these I just couldn't do it. So anyway, bleh, anyway, anyway, last but not least, on a Sunday I had a city date with my dad. So I used this wonton in a million um sticker holding and hugging the Empire State Building from the New York City sheet to mark the city date. Then before we got anywhere, we went to Starbucks and I got myself toasted white mocha. If you guys haven't tried that you're sleeping on it it was absolutely delicious like it was just the warmest winter holiday hug I have ever received and they put little sprinkly bits on top and it's just great I love it highly recommend but of course since this is a Halloween -y spread like a spoofy spread I used a pumpkin spice emoji for that then after that I wanted to mark that we went to the MoMA which was really fun I thought my dad was gonna be very like "Ooh, this is so artistic and blah 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 which I can appreciate art but then at the same time I do like sometimes look at it and go okay <laughs> I don't get it um but to mark the um to mark the artwork <laughs> to mark visiting the museum I used another one of the clever gal crafts like um post-it stickers along <laughs> with this wonton um steamy sticker from that same New York sheet um 
of the steamy doing the ever famous scream to mark visiting the MoMA. Then underneath that, I sort of added a little inside joke, which is one of those like you had to be there and also will take me five years to explain the story. So I won't, but basically I wrote gasp, wow, and then the uh, laughing um, emoji head to mark that because it was a really fun day at the museum with my dad. Like I wasn't expecting like to that to be at a museum with my dad and for it to be as fun as it was. Then after that, we walked all the way from the MoMA to Herald Square to get some gyros, but they closed our favorite place down, which is sad. So we went to go get some dinner at a place called AMP Deli. Basically, you just like put all your food in a plate, they weigh it, you go upstairs and eat it. It's not as glorious as my gyros, but what can you do? So the meal icon I used is from Paper and Milk. Then when we got home, me and my dad started watching Inglorious Bastards. So I used a little movie film slate icon to mark that. Then when I got home, I replied to all of my YouTube comments. So I used the Happy Dial laptop sticker for that. And then basically all day I played Hogwarts Mystery because they came out with new chapters. So I wanted to mark it on this day using a Potter scribbler. Um, was it the Hufflepuff one? Nope, it was the Ravenclaw one. I don't know why it matters, but I'm telling you anyway. So yeah, Mark playing Hogwarts Mystery. Can't quit that game, won't stop, can't stop. Ta-da! And here we have my last spoopy week of the year in full. I really love how it turned out and it doesn't have, I was gonna say, it doesn't have a smidge of foil. It's got a few smidges of foil. Nothing worth a viv wiggle, but you can kind of see it on the screen anyway. So yeah, it was a really great week, a very relaxing week, and I'm glad I took the time to have sort of like a week off because I feel like I was like this close to burning out, which would not have been great because then it would have meant a week off anyway, but I was just stressed and not relaxed. So yeah, we're ready to take on this new week, get some studying done because I do have another exam that my lecture professor is just like, yes, of course, we're going to have another exam on Monday. And I'm like, didn't we just have one? So yeah, I can't keep up with the struggles of student life, but I am trying. So yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.